East Timor, breathtakingly beautiful but haunting for Gary Cunningham's family here at Channel 7's Balibo 5 Memorial. Still gets me. Oh, absolutely. Gary's brother, Greg. People say it's a long time ago and all this, but it doesn't mean, it doesn't make it any easier. We've been told that Balibo was hit by artillery and mortar this morning. In 1975, in the former Portuguese colony, Channel 7 journalist Greg Shackleton, camera operator Gary Cunningham, sound assistant Tony Stewart, and Channel 9 reporter Malcolm Rennie and cameraman Brian Peters reported on the impending Indonesian invasion. We've daubed our house with the word Australia in red and the Australian flag. As neutrals, they thought they'd be safe, but they were brutally murdered by invading Indonesian special forces as depicted in the movie Balibol. The Indonesians claimed they were killed in crossfire. Well, may we say, God save the Queen. Because nothing will save the Governor-General. With Australia distracted by the Whitlam dismissal, Darwin journalist Roger East uncovered the truth of the Balibo Five, but he too was killed by invading Indonesian troops in Dili. After successive government whitewashes, in 2007, a Sydney coroner found the five had been murdered. Australian Federal Police launched a war crimes investigation dropped last year with no attempt to interview any Indonesian official. Recently, Gary Cunningham's son, John Milliken, visited the house where his father died. On a personal level, it's very hard to walk into the room where your birth father was murdered, but uh, it's, it also gives me strength to look forward He's furious at Australian inaction. I'm ashamed of our government. I'm deeply, deeply disappointed. For 40 years now, Greg Shackleton's tireless widow, Shirley, has said this. I don't want sympathy. I want justice. <laughs>